Okay, so I got my new addition to the collection today. It's a uh, CO2 laser, 40 watts. Um, I've just got some uh, some water cooling lines running to it and high voltage lines just temporarily. It's still in its foam boxing. Uh, I've got a, just a little tank here full of water. Uh, that's the power supply for it. That's just a, another external power supply that's running the pump. It actually came out of a PC water cooling system, like a closed loop system. And I've just got that running a bit of water through um, through the thing here, through the tube. Uh, it's running pretty slowish at the moment. Not sure if that's enough water going through it, but uh, for now it's not even getting warm. I've tried uh, fueling the output as I'm running the laser. It doesn't feel like it's getting any um, any hotter. I've actually got still got the radiator block from the PC set up. Uh, so if that's needed, I can just chuck that in the loop and uh, and cool it down that way. Anyway, so let's uh, do some tests here. We're going to run the tube with that backstop there. It's actually wood coated with a plastic uh, kind of veneer on top. That's why you're getting a lot of the black, black soot coming off it. But it also does some really cool stuff like when you burn it, it makes smoke, smoke rings and, some, and things like that. So uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's fire that that up and uh, and see what happens. So I'll do some short bursts at max power, and then we can start uh, testing it out on different materials. So here's a short burst with 40 watts straight into the wood. You can see the smoke rings coming off it. And uh, now if we want to do a longer shot, uh, we'll see if we can get some flames happening. Let's do that now. Oh yeah. Now uh, remember this is happening without any output lens. This is just a bare tube output, 40 watt, and uh, the beam's approximately um, probably around three, three millimeters in diameter. Nice, perfect round dot. Um, and yeah. So now uh, I'll cut the video and I'll set up some things to burn, and uh, we'll do our test then. All right. So now what I've set up over here is a clear piece piece of plastic. Not sure if you can see that very well on camera. Uh, so yeah, the piece of plastic's in the beam uh, where the beam's going to shoot through. Um, and the thing about this wavelength is um, clear plastic and glass and any of that type of stuff um, is actually opaque to this wavelength. So obviously it's clear to our eyes because we only perceive wavelengths in the visible spectrum whereas this is far far beyond the visible spectrum in the IR range so um so different things appear opaque or translucent um, depending on the wavelength that's passing through the object so anyway in this case we have a piece of plastic uh, clear to our eyes uh, in the visible spectrum but not clear um, and actually opaque to this wavelength of laser. So I'm going to do a short burst on the plastic and uh, check check out the end result and then I'll turn it around and uh, we'll do a long burst on it and see what happens. So here's a short burst 40 watts straight into clear plastic. 3, 2, 1 Okay, so this is what happened to 
the plastic. It's um, just a burn mark, really. There's no distortion on the back. Oh, actually, there is a bit of distortion. It's melted a tiny bit inwards. But because this is such a quick, short burst, um, it didn't penetrate through, and it just engraved the top. Um, so that's just a, a mark left by obviously the material burning. So now I'll do a long burst and we'll see what we can get if we leave it on the plastic for a bit longer. Alright, so we're going to do the long burst now. And in three, two, one. There we go. Now, that wasn't exactly long, but it was long compared to what we did before. And you can see that there's actually a hole being burnt straight through. Then it went through the plastic and started burning the wood behind it. So let's go have a look at that. And uh, you can see, it burnt right through it, which is pretty good. Alright, so the next material or object that we have is a DVD. And um, what this is, is actually a piece of plastic with a piece of uh, metal in between another piece of plastic. So it's a sandwiched, basically a sandwiched piece of aluminium foil, like, sub like material, between two plastic sheets. And um, since the plastic is uh, trend, uh, opaque, we should be getting a, uh, a burn on the plastic and not too much distortion in the metal for our quick burst. For our long burst, uh, we should be getting penetration into the plastic and then into the metal. And we'll see if that works. So I'm just going to zoom in here and uh, we'll do our short burst. So let's try that out now. And in three, two, one. And a nice smoke ring came off that. Not sure if that was picked up on the camera. And uh, yeah, so just as I said, a nice, uh, nice hole was blown into the plastic. Uh, not a hole, a nice burn mark was burnt into the plastic. And uh, not too much distortion on that, and the other side is perfectly fine, as you can see there. Now I'm going to rotate this, and we'll do another short burst. Uh, sorry, we'll do a long burst now, and uh, we'll see what happens to that. Alright, so long burst in 3, 2, 1. A lot of smoke came off of that. So let's have a look what that looks like. Oh, that smells real bad. Um, so we have the main plastic front panel got singed quite a lot. And it did actually make it all the way through. You can see the, the white in the background there through the hole. So made it right through the material. If I left it there a bit longer, I would have got a more clean hole. But again, this is just straight output out of the laser. Um, no lens, so you don't get a very clean hole anyway. So that's it for that one. Alright, so what I have here now set up is a small piece of glass. Um, and what's going to happen is glass is very similar to plastic where it is quite opaque to this wavelength which means it absorbs the light quite well and um, so what's going to happen is the laser is going to shoot onto the front side of the, la uh, the glass heat up only the front surface of the glass and the back surface of the glass is going to be at room temperature so you can imagine the differential in temperature between the front side of the glass and the back side of the glass. 
Now, when you have a differential in temperature in a structure like glass, you get uh, you get a lot of stress, and because it's such high temperature coming from this laser, um, such high temperature, you're going to get cracks and maybe even an explosion. So this glass is going to get very very hot and then most likely crack but we might get an explosion which is pretty cool so let's try that out now um, also another thing to note you shouldn't be able to see on the camera I haven't actually checked this but you shouldn't be able to see any reflection coming off uh, the surface of the of the glass being bounced back into the camera you shouldn't be able to see that so it'll just spontaneously explode but in reality there is a beam coming from the laser to the glass being absorbed somewhat and some of it is being reflected so that's why you won't see the laser being turned on but you'll see the end result once the glass has uh, has cracked or exploded so let's try that out now and in three two one and there you go the glass has just broke didn't get a very uh, violent reaction but it did break and fell to pieces which is pretty cool and just in case if you're wondering yes it can pop a balloon <laughs>